Welcome to 3 at 5, three of the top trending news stories at 5 p.m. every day. I'm Andrea Dan. Astronauts took the first bites of lettuce grown entirely in space from their own space garden on the International Space Station on Monday. It took about an hour for the astronauts to harvest and prepare the lettuce for consumption. They made both plain and seasoned salads with olive oil and vinegar. Veteran American astronaut said it was one small bite for man, but one giant leap for the journey to Mars. They also said this kind of research is important in the steps towards making spacecraft more self-sustainable for longer journeys into space. Now some good news for travel enthusiasts. In order to encourage tourism, mainland China's state council called for companies to let employees start their weekends from Friday noon. Mainland China is also planning to offer free Wi-Fi access at more than 10,000 national tourist attractions, as well as some rural villages by 2020. It's obvious that mainland China wants to further encourage inbound tourism to stimulate economic development. However, businesses also voice concern of elongating the weekend, saying that half a day more doesn't necessarily encourage tourism. Back to Hong Kong, architecture experts in the Chinese University of Hong Kong questioned the move of tearing down an 80-year-old pawn shop, which will make way for a commercial building. Wen Di Nguan Yi, senior research assistant of CUHK School of Architecture, said the Tong Tuk Pawn Shop in Wan Chai is a historical building that deserves conservation, partly because such architecture style is very rare in Hong Kong. It was built by British architecture agency Raven and Basto, which also built the historical monument Kang Yin Lei in Happy Valley. However, soon after approval was granted for the new commercial building, Tong Tuk Pong Shop was already being torn down, promoting outrage amongst conservationists. That's it for today. For more of these news stories and much more, visit ChinaDailyAsia.com.